Hello everyone, welcome to NG Classes YouTube channel for a video lecture series on a digital signal processing. In this video, we will consider in direct computation of DFT of any sequence, how many complex multiplications, complex additions, real multiplications, real additions and trigonometric function evaluation are required. So this is the task. In this video, what we do is uh, we'll consider uh, how many complex multiplications and how many complex additions are involved in direct computation of DFT of any given sequence. Is that okay? So rest of the things that is C, D, and E will be considered in the later part in the in the next videos. Before directly starting, study of fast Fourier transform algorithm. So that is famously known as FFT algorithms. Let us see the complexity of computations in the direct computation of DFT. So what do you mean by direct computation of DFT? Uh, the DFT of the sequence x of k. So if I am finding it using the equation which says that x of k is equal to summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n wn to the power kn wherein k varies from 0, 1 till n minus 1. So this equation is known as direct computation of DFT of any given sequence. Here, uh, what is the input? Input is x of n. So is that real uh, sequence or uh, complex sequence? So it could be real or complex as well. The given sequence x of n can be real or complex. So what about wn to the power kn? Wn. Wn is known as the twiddle factor. So what about the twiddle factor? Twiddle factor is also known as a complex sequence, a complex quantity. So I would write this is also complex. Therefore, the computation of x of k, the computation of x of k involves the multiplications and summations of complex numbers. Are you getting it? So now we can see where we are getting these complex multiplications and complex additions. Because if I want to find the uh, DFT of any sequence x of k, which is uh, given as this uh, formula here, x of n and wn both can be complex. Therefore, uh, the computation of DFT involves uh, multiplication and summation of complex numbers. So how many complex additions, how many complex multiplications are involved? If I want to see that, uh, what, what I do is I'll consider the expression for x of k and I'll expand it. x of k. So I already have the expression. So I'll consider this expression again and I now I'll expand it. So let me expand it this way. x of k is equal to, so I'll put n equal to 0. If I put n equal to 0, I'm going to get x of 0 multiplied with wn to the power 0. Are you getting it? Plus the next term. I'll put n equal to 1. If I put n equal to 1, what I'm going to get? I'm going to get x of 1 wn to the power k into n. n is 1. It is going to be wn to the power k. Is that fine? Similarly, let me put n equal to 2 as well. So that I'll get x of 2 wn to the power k into n. n is 2. So I'm going to get 2 into k that is 2k. In this way, I'll keep on doing it till the last number. What is the last number? n takes the last number as n minus 1. So if I put that, I'm going to get x of n minus 1 multiplied with wn to the power k into n. n is n minus 1 into k. So this is the expansion. So now if you look closely, how many complex multiplications and how many complex additions are there? So for that, uh, let me write this. So x of 0 wn to the power 0. So this multiplication I would call it as the first complex multiplications. First complex multiplication. Are you getting it? The second one x of n getting multiplied with the wn to the power k. So this I call it as second complex multiplication. So this I call it as second complex multiplication. Are you getting it? Similarly, x of 2 getting multiplied with wn to the power 2k. So this I am going to call it as third complex multiplication. Are you with me? So this I am calling, I am going to call it as third complex multiplication. Likewise, I have this, the last uh, multiplication, x of n minus 1 getting multiplied with wn to the power n minus 1k. So starting from 0, 
दिस इज वन द नंबर वन टू थ्री लाइक वाइज आई गो टिल एन सो दिस मस्ट बी द लास्ट वन मस्ट बी एन कॉम्प्लेक्स मल्टीप्लीकेशन एन कॉम्प्लेक्स मल्टीप्लीकेशन so last term is going to be n complex multiplication therefore this involves a finding x of k for one value of k involves n complex multiplication uh, i have considered only multiplication now what about the complex additions that can also be considered so now here i get one addition sign it is addition between two numbers so this is uh, our first complex addition first complex addition Are you following this? This I'm call, I'm going to call it as first complex addition because uh, x of zero w n to the power zero is also going to be a complex number. X of one w n to the power k is also going to be a complex number. So addition of these two numbers results in our first complex addition. Likewise, uh, the result that is getting added with x of two w n to the power two k, this addition whatever uh, we have here, this addition results in second complex addition. So this I call it as second complex addition are you getting it similarly uh, going till the last one uh, before the last one i'll consider this as well so this is the next one and this i call it as third complex addition so that i'm going to call it as third complex addition likewise till the last term so this uh, i am going to get one more multiplication sign uh, sorry addition sign it must be here one more addition sign so what is that last addition we started with uh, it is addition is always between two numbers so two numbers results in one complex addition and uh, with another uh, addition i am going to get uh, second complex addition uh, third complex addition likewise the last number is n minus 1 therefore i am going to have n minus 1 complex addition are you with me Uh, while considering the multiplication, I said it as n complex multiplication. But while with addition, I am going to call it as n minus one complex addition. What could be the reason? Because addition is always between the two numbers. So hence, uh, till we have till n numbers, it must be n minus one complex addition. Is that okay? So now uh, what I have concluded is for any value of k in this equation, uh, the, okay, one can observe the multiplications and additions involved. Is that okay? Uh, it is only for one value of k so let me write that for this is only for one value of k one value of k how many complex multiplications so let me write it uh, i'll write complex multiplications complex multiplications and as well as complex additions complex additions so how many i have i've got now uh, i have written complex multiplications and complex additions if i calculate complex multiplications it is n complex multiplication and if i consider complex addition it is going to be n minus 1 complex addition this is only for one value of k likewise k can take the different values from 0 to n minus 1 are you getting it therefore there are n values of k there are n values of n values of k are you getting it so this point is very important whatever we have done now complex additions are n complex additions are n minus 1 this is only for one value of k so like this k can also take the values k equal to 0 1 2 till n minus 1 hence there are n values of uh, k so ultimately what i can conclude is number of complex multiplications required the total number of total number of complex multiplications required so I'll, let me write the same thing total number of complex total number of complex multiplications complex multiplications uh, required for calculating x of k complex number of multiplication the total number of complex multiplications required for calculating n uh, for calculating x of k that is for k equal to 0 1 till n minus 1 so how many i am going to get now this is n so now there are n values of k there are n values of k and uh, for one value of k i am going to get n complex multiplications so what is the result i am going to get 
it is n into n ultimately i am going to get n square number of complex multiplications that are required for uh, calculating x of k that is the conclusion is that okay so before i conclude i have to calculate the total number of complex additions as well so therefore uh, let me write the same thing total number of complex additions so let me write total uh, number of complex total number of complex additions total number of complex additions uh, required for calculating x of k for different values of k for k equal to uh, 0 uh, let me write it again for k equal to 0 1 2 till n minus 1 so how many i'm going to get now uh, i say i say that k can take the value n 0 to n minus 1 that is n number so for one value of k i said it is n minus 1 n minus 1 so ultimately i am going to get how much i am going to get n square minus n so this is n square complex multiplications and this is n square minus n complex additions is that okay so for calculating any uh, dft of any given sequence there are n square complex multiplications and n square minus n complex additions are involved is that okay before i conclude let me take one simple example so for example uh, so for example if i want to calculate 8 point dft of any sequence so now how many complex multiplications are there i said it is n square n square in the sense 8 square is nothing but 64 complex multiplications are you getting it complex multiplications so one can uh, feel the difficulty involved uh, in finding dft using the direct computation so if i want to find the direct computation of 8 point sequ uh, sequence i need to calculate 64 i need to calculate uh, carry over 64 complex multiplications that is a huge task it is simply for 8 point dft similarly uh, what about complex additions so it is n square minus n so i'm going to get 8 square minus 8 that is 64 minus 8 is nothing but 56 complex additions so are you getting it it's simply 8 point dft but in turn i'm going to have 56 complex additions uh, i need to solve to get 8 point dft is that okay so this is the difficulty involved in finding dft of any sequence using the direct computations so ultimately i conclude that if, uh, the number of complex multiplications are n square and number of complex additions are n square minus n uh, in this example, I have explained everything step by step. Hope you people have understood. If there are still any doubts, please let me know them onto the comment section and I will definitely address those uh, uh, comments. Uh, meanwhile, subscribe to our channel NG Classes for more videos on digital signal processing. In the next video, we will consider uh, how many real multiplications, real additions and trigonometric function evaluation are required. Thank you everyone for watching.